for Bismarck State College, the Bismarck Mandan community, the great state of North Dakota, and most importantly, our students. All right. Let's make a little noise for BSC, huh? What do you think? This world-class facility will combine energy workforce training with environmental research while advancing the use of coal combustion products to serve as a one-stop training and education facility. Partnerships with the North Dakota energy industry will allow this facility to help us meet the demands for a 21st century workforce by building a pipeline of multi-skilled workers with an industry-driven approach. And wouldn't you know, the first project that he assigns me is helping to secure the lead gift. So our first call was on Ron Harper, uh, who was introduced as the CEO of Basin Electric. Uh, Dr. Thigpen, Gordy, and I walked into Ron's office one day a few years ago, explained the program to him, and asked uh, promptly for $2 million. And he didn't flinch, which really surprised me, because I think I'd have fallen out of my chair. <laughs> Uh, he said he'd get back to us, and he did. He did in a very short period of time. And you know how this goes. Uh, you got to get the ball rolling to get the momentum to get the job done. And so with our, uh, the first step was our Centers of Excellence grant, but then it really was getting uh, the support from the private sector as, as well as individuals. And uh, this, this gentleman stepped up and uh, took the lead, and I want to particularly acknowledge him. And then I'm going to talk about some of the things they're doing in just a minute, but that's uh, Mr. Ron Harper with Basin Electric. Ron, please, please stand up and be acknowledged. <laughs> they uh, not only gave the lead gift, but are, are doing some amazing things which relates to the work of this center. I want to touch on that. Right now, Basin Electric is turning lignite coal into natural gas at the Dakota Gasification Company. It is the only company I know of in the United States on a commercial scale converting coal to natural gas, synthetic natural gas, putting it in the pipeline, sending it to market, and at the same time capturing CO2 carbon dioxide, putting it in a, compressing it, putting it in a pipeline, and sending it to the oil fields for tertiary or secondary oil recovery, leading the nation, leading the world, and they're going to do more of it. They've entered into a partnership with a company called PowerSpan, which is in a leading environmental company out of New Hampshire. And together, they are now working to uh, capture carbon dioxide off the back end of the Antelope coal-fired electric power plant. So that for electric generation, coal-fired electric generation, we can capture and sequester carbon dioxide. Now think how big that is for North Dakota. Think how big that is for our country. You know, a lot has been said about me. This isn't about me. This is about 126 member cooperatives that are located in the nine-state region. It's also about us as an industry that are so focused on doing the right thing for, again, that person at the end of the line. And he made a smart business decision. But beyond that, I think it was just as important that he set the bar very high. Because as we called on others in the industry, the pledges started coming in, and they were substantial. And I want to thank Ron for his commitment and for making my job a little easier by, by launching us the way he did. And quite frankly, I recall, Donna, when uh, we made the announcement with Senator Dorgan of the, the lead donation and so on, and he made the very uh, appropriate observation that Basin is doing this because of a business decision. And that was absolutely right. We looked forward, we understood where our workforce was headed, what we felt we needed to get the things accomplished to continue the great work that Base Electric does and the other members of the industry. And it's gonna take people, young, innovative, bright people to carry that ball forward. You know, in, in Base Electric's case, I know that we've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% over the next four to five, eight years that we're gonna have turnover. And we need people. Many of my uh, counterparts have the same challenge. Without your support, the National Energy Center of Excellence simply 
would not be a reality. Our vision is to be a worldwide leader in energy training and education, and I think we're well positioned today because of all the support here.